Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on SQL Server 2008 R2. Um, I know that SQL Server 2012 was released relatively recently, and some of the nice upgrades that you will see in SSIS 2012 are the ability to undo and redo within the SSIS. As well, BIDS is no more. It's now SQL Server Data Tools, um, very closely integrated into Visual Studio. Um, so, but getting back to the main point, which is SSIS and the control flow interface, um, I'd like to get to what I view is one of the more important maintenance plan tasks that SSIS can really accomplish for you on your SQL Server. Okay, so initially we have a reorganized task. Okay, basically this is just like a task manager on steroids. Okay, with the general user interface to go along with it. All right, so we have reorganize index task here. Okay, and this green arrow is on completion. Not, I'm sorry, not on completion, on success. Okay, now I can change it to completion. Now, completion means either success or failure. It just means that the task went through entirely. It wasn't locked out and it didn't, like, the server didn't crash in the process of it or what have you. Okay, so um, these are obviously all successes. Okay, and these are all failures. And you will see that the failures are associated to a send mail task, okay? And that's going to alert the DBAs and maybe the junior DBAs or management um, that this specific task didn't run. So that the DBA's main primary task for that morning should essentially be to, you know, rectify that. Okay? Um, now, when, when I touch on reorganized index task, okay, um, th this is an, a very common setup for a nightly. Um, maintenance of your SQL Server databases. Okay? Now I say that because um, we have the reorganize of indexes, okay? And we have the updates of statistics on tables. Okay? Now why do we do that? Because when tables change, when updates and deletes and inserts happen, okay, those indices they get uh, pseudo fragmented. Okay, or, or actually fragmented rather. Okay, now notice that I didn't include a rebuild index task in here because Pinal Dave from SQL Authority recommends that you do only rebuild at 30% fragmentation. Okay, now if you have downtime at night, you know why not rebuild some indexes that are fragmented at five or ten or fifteen or twenty? You know you can you can be the judge of that. I just didn't include it in here. Okay, um, now we have a maintenance plan cleanup right before check dbcc all right now and i've gotten i in real, real life setting i've gotten corruption emails sent to my work email regarding this and i had to you know obviously take action on it okay um and then at the very end you can schedule your backup db okay now you just go in here you can specify whether you want full or differential oh the transaction log okay you can whether or not you want to compress it where do you want that stored you know as normal, okay. You can also schedule those backups to be to delete themselves after 10 days. So you just have a rolling history of 10 fulls, or you have a rolling history of a like you know, 20 or 30 differentials or what have you, okay. Um, when you want to configure the send mail task, okay, um, you simply just go in here, you fill out your information, you go into your SMTP connection, you can make new, you can manually type in the IP address or what have you, um, and check Windows authentication or whatever. Conversely, you can just set up, set it up via an expression within here to go off the user semicolon semicolon SMTP server. Okay, um, I've included links at the bottom to two of my favorite articles on this topic. Um, if you have any questions regarding um, SSIS, and again, data flow is specifically generally really related more so to uh, manipulating data and controlling it and then outputting it. Control flow is where you're going to find everything regarding you know maintenance plan tasks okay that's where this is this presentation is really focused on okay but you can see you have a lot more available to you just within the uh, uh, control flow okay if you have any questions send me an email and I'll send you back a response thanks